Is that the greatest band ever? That no kidding. Beautiful songs. If anybody was sleeping in the Ozarks, <laughs> they're awake yeah. now <laughs> as the uh, College of the Ozarks plays the Army and Marine Corps song. Pete Hegseth is live from the College of Ozarks in Point Lookout, Missouri. That's today. right. The school prides itself on educating students to be well-learned, hard workers, and full American patriots. Can you imagine that? Fox and Friends weekend co-host Pete Hegseth was stuck at Princeton during his years. Uh, hey, Pete, <laughs> what is it like out there? Well, I should have been stuck here instead. What is it like? Look at it. What a great uh, college they've got here, College of the Ozarks. You know, they came to national prominence because they took a stance on the Nike issue. They said, we're going to just stand, uh, and they did. Uh, but the school is about so much more than that. Hard work, patriotism, faith, which they put at the forefront. We had a chance yesterday to talk to a bunch of students on campus. This is what we saw. Take a listen. We are here at the College of the Ozarks in Missouri, where students learn faith, freedom, love of country, and how to work hard before they leave this campus. They call it Hard Work U. Where are we right now? We are at the Keter Center. Uh, tell me about it. Uh, our Keter Center is our lodge on campus where we have 15 rooms. We house guests. All students running this top of the line facility. It's amazing. How did you end up here at the College of the Ozarks? You know, I was very fortunate to be able to come to College of the Ozarks because I grew up in a family uh, where those opportunities weren't really available. But because of the institution, the ability to work for my education, I'm able to stand here and talk to you today. How many hours a week do you work? I work 15 hours a week and two 40 hour work week. And in exchange, you get a debt free education. That is correct. The students do the dirty jobs, I can do the dirty jobs. Why not? You're a student, you got the regular course load, mm -hmm. but you're also overseeing eight students that make sure that this milk not only makes it to the keto center, but you're able to process it so it can be sold on the open mm -hmm. market as well, right? Yes. What's the biggest surprise you had working here? Um, everything, on, honestly, because I didn't come, didn't come from I did this. not come from any sort of ag background, so every single day I came Hello. in knowing I was going to learn something new, but I <laughs> liked that. All right, uh, it looks like we're on a farm, but we're actually still here on campus at the College of the Ozarks. We got peas over here, green beans, cauliflower, broccoli, pumpkins. I look around, and this is not your typical student experience. No, it's not. Um, the school likes to educate the head, the heart, and the hands. So by going to class, I'm learning a lot, but I'm able to implement that knowledge that I learned from class here at a workstation like the campus garden. It's pretty good, man. We're at the Fruitcake and Jelly Kitchen. We can over 40,000 different products, and it's mm -hmm. students that make that. Correct. Have you learned to be more proud of your country from, from uh, being at this college? Yes, I have, definitely. Um, and the uh, ability to stand up for what you believe. Very it's cool. And the ability to make some killer jam, so I'm told. Yes. And butter. Mm -hmm. So w yes. would you be willing to show me how to do this? Yes, of course. So, Amy, can I try mm -hmm. one of these? Yes, you can. Go ahead. So now, be careful. It's hot. It. Yeah, it is. Yes. I can feel that. Am I going to burn my tongue? We'll see. Hmm. No. Oh. Good? That's fantastic. Okay. Really good. Well done. Wow. So, Pete, you learned a lot. Of, of course, it's a, it's a very special place, guys. It really, really is. But it's because their mission is very intentional. And I have a chance now to, to, to talk to General Terrence Dake. He's the former assistant commandant of the Marine Corps. You right. flew Ronald Reagan's, you're part of his helicopter crew. You're also the, on the chairman of the board here at the College of the Ozarks. You know, this college got a lot of national attention because of the stance it took on Nike, standing for the anthem. But, but it's based on a core principle that this school believes in. Tell us about the principles of this school. In fact, the principles of the school and the one that we're talking about with Nike really is one in which we've taken a stance that says, do not disrespect America. You know, we look at uh, the college as being a place where students can come, they can learn about our country, and they can do so in an environment that we hope nourishes that as we do. So patriotism, in fact, back into the 60s during the Vietnam situation, the the board of trustees took a position that says we think that patriotism is waning not just on this campus but in the country and they made a a stand of that as one of the pillars of our college 
So patriotism education is one of the things that we do. And you, know, you know how different that is than most colleges and universities in America today that feel like patriotism is passe, it's yesteryear. But here you reinforce that, that our country is a special place. We absolutely do. We believe that America is an exceptional nation. We believe that the kinds of things that we stand for need to be broadcast. We appreciate the opportunity to do We're that here. here. You know, patriotism here, we do it in several ways. One of those is a, a travel program where we team up a student with a veteran, send them off to the battlefields where the veteran fought and let that student learn and hear about the sacrifices that those people made on their behalf. We talk about sacrifices in America a lot, but the sacrifices we talk about aren't always well placed. And I think the sacrifices that the veterans do, the battles that they fought, and mm -hmm. our students see and hear that and bring that back to our campus, and that's part of the patriotism. General, just uh, our viewers are interested. I mentioned Ronald Reagan. You were a part of, uh, of flying him in when, uh, part of his presidential detail. What was that assignment like in the, in the Marine Corps? Well, you know, that's kind of different. That's really not a Marine Corps mission. Marines fight battles, and, uh, but flying Ronald Reagan was a, was a highlight for an old helicopter pilot to be able to <laughs> do that, for sure. But Ronald Reagan had a thought, too, that said that democracy can be extinct in a single generation. And therefore, the kind of things that we talk about was standing for the flag, putting our hand over our heart when we pledge yep. allegiance and when the national anthem is played. Those are, are things that are important because they stand for symbols that reinforce Amen. the freedoms of our country. Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. General, thank you very much. We appreciate it. I'm telling you guys, a lot of universities talk about thanking our veterans. This place lives it. Uh, I've, I've seen it across campus. They send folks with war veterans to where they served. Uh, and they truly do honor those that mean so much to this country. It's, it's, uh, thank, thank, you thank, thank, you, Pete, thank you for being here. You, uh, what a school. Yeah, this that is, is such a great concept. So, Pete, do they have a football team? No, but they have a great basketball team, a baseball team, maybe football eventually. But they've okay. taken stances there, too. Teams right. that come here cannot kneel for the anthem. It's part of what they stand yeah. for. Everyone on campus has to work, and then you can graduate debt-free. Like the signs say. Yeah, and they are pumped up. All right. Terrific. All right. We can't hear you, Pete, because <laughs> everyone behind you is so riled up.